Hey, what's up guys? It's Haney Design, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can turn this into this. And I'm going to be walking through the entire thing with y'all, every single layer, everything I do, I'm going to be explaining, and yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so we're in Photoshop, and we have loaded in our sky, our landscape, and our subject right here. And we're going to end up blending in our subject and our landscape to our sky. So started with the sky we're just gonna leave it how it is we like how it looks uh, we're actually gonna let's uh, create some glows right onto our sky so we're gonna adjustments hue and saturation and then what we can do is click colorize and we're gonna turn our saturation all the way up and we're gonna take it I, I want it to be a light blue so let's take it to a light blue and turn our lightness up right here okay then press control I grab on your brush and we're just gonna tap just like this and we're gonna take our blend mode to linear dodge add right okay there we go guys we had a little bit of a glow right there let's turn down our opacity a little bit okay there so now we're on our landscape and we're gonna blend our landscape into this sky right here so the first thing we're gonna do right above our landscape we're going to add an adjustment and it's going to be an exposure adjustment layer then we're going to right click on it create clipping mask so this only affects our landscape so what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down to a, d a good um, lightness so I think that matches pretty well with our uh, sky right next thing we're going to do is another adjustment this time a hue and saturation and we're going to create clipping mask also this is just going to affect our landscape so we're going to keep the hue just normal just regular all we're going to do is affect the saturation so we're going to desaturate it we still want to keep some of that color but just take out some of them greens right there we're just going to desaturate the entire picture I'll do minus 66 it will vary for whatever but next let's go ahead and add some color balance so another adjustment color balance again create clipping mask now we're gonna on our midtones right here we're gonna drag our cyans and our blues because you can see that this guy is cyan and blue so we want to uh, make our ground more cyan and blue and you can see that right there next we can go to our shadows since our shadows on our sky are blue, what we're going to do is make our shadows on our ground blue. Then for our highlights, highlights are cyan, and the highlights on the ground are also going to be cyan. So there we go. You can see that difference right there. And what I'll also like to do is, sometimes it works, we can drag up our brightness, just like that, create clipping mask, and you hit control I right you can take your brush and just lower the flow and you can actually just paint on some highlights like this moon is hitting this ground right here make it broader and then come in just like that and then we can some blend if something sort of like that okay Obviously, this is not the best because I'm just showing you all a tutorial, but that is the basic idea of it. And there we go with our sky. Our sky is, I mean, our landscape. Next, our subject. So, actually, I forgot a step. I'm going to go back. What we're going to do is right click on our half circle, still above our landscape, and we're going to click gradient map. You can see these two options. I can click either one of these. We're going to click this one right here and then clipping mask it and right here on our very left side we want this to be the darkest point of our sky then we're gonna make another mark two-fourths of the way through so we're gonna click right here this is gonna be our second darkest area so I think right there may be good three-fourths of the way through we're gonna make another click and this is gonna be not our brightest area but the second brightest area we can find so maybe right there looks pretty good 
then this is going to be the brightest area of our image. So let's see how that looks right there. Okay, next we can lower our opacity to about right there. So you can see that difference it makes. We're going to lower it to about 18. That right there. Okay. Now, this is uh, uh, nothing. This is really easy right here. This is what we're going to do for our subject. We're just gonna click the gradient map right here. We're gonna shift and click down here. So it selects all of these. Then we're gonna hit Control J. Not that, we're gonna hit Control J to make a duplicate. And we're gonna drag it above our subject. What we can do is just clipping mask it on. So you can tell, obviously, this is a bit too dark. Especially since our subject's in the foreground, we don't want him to be this dark. So what we can do is we can go adjust these adjustment layers just by clicking on them, right? So maybe we want him to be a little bit brighter, just like that or something. We want him to be a little bit more saturated. And this color balance, we can just lower the opacity or the fill of the color balance, just like that. And then our gradient map, we're definitely going to lower the fill of this, just like that. Okay. So there's our subject. Next, you can see how this uh, our subject is standing in this tall grass right here, right? So what you can actually do is go online and just look up Grass Brush Photoshop. And there's a ton of free gra grass brushes. This is a, a free one right here. It's pretty good. So all we're going to do is just, you can just tap this away and you can see this just looking like the grass is taking over his feet right like he's just standing in it just like that all right next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our highlights onto our subject so we're gonna go and we're gonna go to a hue and saturation and we're gonna turn our lightness all the way up and we're gonna create clipping mask then what we're gonna do Make sure we're on our soft round brush. We're going to press Control I. So now, if we click on this color white over here, we paint on. You can see that it is just painting on just like that. Slow our flow just a bit. And then press Control I one more time. We're actually going to want to see our white. We can uh, double click right here. And right here where this says underlying layer on our blending options, press Alt and click right here and you can drag this back. And this is actually pretty good for realistic highlights. So now we're going to press Control I again. And y'all can see if I paint on the outside like this, it's going to highlight him, right? So basically, I'll show you all an example of something real quick. So say right here, this highlight would probably be going down here a bit. So what we're going to do is paint in right here, and then we can click X and erase stuff we don't need. If, we're gonna, if we click X, it's going to go to our erase tool. So we're just going to do this all the way around the outside, and I'll see you all after I finish doing this on the outsides.
Alright guys, there we are after our uh, white hue and saturation. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another adjustment layer. Surprise. And we are going to go to hue and saturation. Down to colorize. Clipping mask it. We're going to turn our saturation all the way up. And we're going to make this color be the same color as that light back there. So let's make it a little bit more blue. Something like, something like, that looks good. Let's turn our lightness a little bit more. Next, we're going to go down here to where it says underlying layer. And we're going to pull back about right there. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click Control I. Now for this one, you can go a little bit more broad with it. We can turn on our flow to about 9. And we can just go more broad. And we're just going to erase again and do the same thing, basically, that we did for our white. Alright, guys. There we go. And uh, the next thing we're going to do, you can see the blue highlight right here, but the next thing we're going to do is add another exposure. And we're going to drag down our exposure quite a bit. We're going to sort of drag it down towards the d where it looks like the darkest part up here of the sky. Sort of that dark. After we do that, we're going to press Control i Go to our brush zero hardness a low flow and what we can what we're gonna do the areas that are furthest away from the light so such as like his chest right here but not on the outside it's not over here because that's getting hit by the light the areas that are furthest away from the light we're gonna hit that with this exposure layer and just make those areas be darker Okay, there we go guys, you can see what we did there. We just made the insides of him more dark. And now we will go ahead and add our our shadow of our guy here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the top of our brush right here and we're gonna make it flat just like that. Then we'll keep our flow at eleven and we're just gonna brush on right underneath our subject sort of just gonna make these feet shadows just like this we'll make a more broad one right here we'll, we'll bring it out just like this sort of like that and then we'll just erase Oop. we'll erase some of this just with our black layer mask Erase some, um, just like that. There we go, guys. Next, we're gonna use some blend if on our underlying layer, just the alt and drag again. And we will drag it just like right about there. And then, okay, we'll do one more thing. We're gonna go ahead, shift click all these together, Control J. Control E, and we have all of our all of it merged into one layer basically. You go to filter, camera off filter. Now, this will really help color grading for pictures. So, first of all, I'll just go through some stuff I like to do. I usually like to I'll boost up exposure or I'll lower exposure, whichever one. Sometimes it doesn't need either, but it's good just to check. I'll check some contrast and then I'll boost up highlights, texture, and clarity. And then I will go down to curve and I'll just mess with curve and see what looks nice. Right there. Boost up some of the highlights right here, just like that. 
Let me lower some of the shadows a little bit more right there. Next, we'll go to our detail. We'll just add some sharpening. Color mixer. We can change the colors of our entire picture here. We can make it green, whatever we want. So we'll shift that actually over to more of a teal color. Then our aquas will change over to also more of a teal color right there. And then uh, the biggest thing in Camera Raw to me is uh, color grading. So what we're going to do is right here on our midtones, we're going to drag it to this sort of greenish color right there. On our highlights, we're just going to boost up our highlights a bit again about right there and we'll make these highlights be more of a cyan our shadows will make our shadows be more of a blue so let's see this final product after camera raw you can see how much of a difference that makes like it's honestly crazy camera raw is a cheat code but i lied okay this is the last thing i swear this is the last thing all right next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make an adjustment layer on top of all that we're going to drag up our lightness and then on our blend mode right here we're going to click linear dodge add we're going to press control i and what we're going to do now is called bloom so basically some of this light should be going over some of his face right because this light is too strong not to be sort of on his face just like that right okay that's all guys um that's it for this video guys let me know if this helped y'all in any way if y'all learned anything if y'all want more videos like this just let me know guys and yeah i'll see y'all